Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you my new praying mantis. They are ghost mantis. Um, I, they just arrived that day where I filmed this and it was really exciting. I had just come back from a city, a different city in Germany where I had spent all night on a flea market so I was pretty damn tired and I'm talking a lot of absolute crap. And today is about 33 degrees so I am a big mess. I am warm just everything that I shouldn't be on a video also my filming camera is not working currently so I'm using my phone so the quality is suffering a little bit I'm really sorry for you guys I hope for your forgiveness um, but I hope that you guys enjoy this video look at the cuties they're they're adorable they're just are here you go okay guys so I haven't slept in right around 36 hours now and I just feel absolutely dead, so we're not going to show my face in this shot. We are just going to open this box. So my ghost mantis have arrived. Six times L2. They've been in shipping since Monday, and it's Thursday now, so we will just check if they're right. Um, they should be. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm talking really fast because I'm just doing this really quick, and after I'm going to go sleep, I'm really, I'm really, really tired. But let's just check if these guys are doing fine. Um... It's been a delay of one day. Oh, and I also, I don't have my normal camera that I film with. I'm using my phone because I just came home and nothing is prepared at all. And um, so I just rock with what I have, to be honest. So yeah, um, let's open them up and check how they are. So I still have to set up their tank, but I just want to first make sure they're doing fine. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for these. Oh, they're packaged so nicely. I love this. There's a lot of um, these, what are they called? Styrofoam chips. And then there's a styrofoam box. I'd assume little ones are in here. And if I'm talking absolute crap, you guys, I'm so sorry. The sleep deprivation is getting to me, to be very honest. Don't mind that stuff. That's just some Amazon parcels that I just got as well. So let's open this. Oh my god, guys, I'm excited. I've been waiting for these. Oh, I hope they're fine, I really do. Moment of truth, guys. Here are the little ones. Oh, they package really nicely. Okay, I can see. Ooh. Wow, they're stuck as well. That's awesome. He really packages these super well. Do you see him or her? Oh my god, this is adorable. I hope you guys can see properly. I'll take one out in a bit and put it on my hand once I've done their setup. He also put a little bit of um, paper in there so they can drink still, which is amazing. Wow. Also, I hope this phone has enough memory to do this. I don't have an SD card in here. Number two is doing fine as well, as you can see. I really love how the um, breeder package these because they're glued in here so they don't like fall around and they're all in their own little things which I mean oh he taped them with double sided tape down there um with ghost mantis you can keep them in groups for sure oh this one even isn't it's L3 now it shed its skin while it was in <laughs> in transit wow that's cool okay so this one also shed its skin during transit and is now in its L oh this one's a bit stressed out compared to the others. It's also in its L3 now, instead of its L2. And I guess the other ones will start shedding soon as well. So I do have three L2 and three L3. Um the L2, L3, L4, L5 just stand for the stages. Um you can see it a little bit. We'll go set up their tank right now and then we'll put the little ones in. Alright guys, so I have pretty much all the utensils here laid on the floor. Um, as I mentioned, yes my tank is a bit shattered like on the edges. You can see that. And the glass just <clears throat> is a bit shattered and there's some glass pieces inside. So we'll just vacuum it out. Um, before we disinfect it. And yes, all those little white chunks on the floor are this boy's fault. 
because he broke his toy. He's so bad. Okay, so basically I'm gonna just start hoovering this out. I'll show you guys how I do it. <laughs> just gonna take your pet disinfecting stuff and spray it along the tank <laughs> I never use this, this is a new, one. new bottle so um, and let it sit for however long it says I'm gonna speed this process up a bit and not let it sit for quite as long don't do that guys I just want to get those little ones out from their little thing okay so after we've waited for a little bit we're just going to take some Again, some kitchen paper towel stuff and just wipe it clean. You don't want any residue of the cleaning product on there because that's going to be harmful for your animals, whatever animal you're going to put in it. Okay, so I cleaned it out as much as I could and next you just want to get your hummus, your cocoa hummus um, and you'll break off a bit because that's what I use for my animals as a sort of like ground their bedding and you take water and you're just gonna basically dump some hummus in there how does one dissolve hummus okay so I just did that off screen a little bit because it was a pain and ugh. Um, then I'm taking some bamboo sticks I have right here I'm just going to remove the tags the little things on them so we'll just put these in however we want to I'm probably gonna end up moving them around anyways so our praying mantis do need to climb they prefer being high up and that's also why they prefer being high up and that's also why we got these and we'll just chop off a piece for each enclosure because I'm getting more mantis as well basically just put it on somehow however I like it oopsie maybe I don't I don't know which way around I should do it okay so I think for now I'm done with this I'll buy like a few fake plants and stuff on the weekend to put in there so um, I filled up my spray bottle with some distilled water so there's no chlor chloride chlor whatever in there and I'll just spray it down a bit like the substrate and just everything pretty much but you just want to wet it they'll drink from the drops on the Let's get the little ones and add them. So I'm gonna show you guys one in its L3 skin, the one that one of the ones that already shed their L2 skin in transit. Um, just gonna grab it, and put it in its enclosure. There you go. It's moving a bit much right now. Oops, it's scared. And it's not focusing. Wow, guys. Just when it focuses, it runs. No. There. And L3 ghost mantis. Oh my god, it is adorable. I wish I had my good camera. I'll still show you guys these little ones. On the good camera as well. Probably in a few days. When they're all done. Setting in the tank. We're going to put him in, or her. This is harder than I thought it would be. Turning home. Do you see this? It's not willing to go. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Oh my god, it's adorable. Guys, I love them. Okay, guys, I'll add the other ones in. And I'll basically just update you guys on it. Okay, you guys, so it has been about, I think, three days since I filmed that. And they're still doing fine. Unfortunately, with Ghost Mantis, they do still cannibalize, for, like, occasionally. It's really rare for that species. That's why um, group housing is possible. But one of my Mantis did eat another one. So um, I have only five left now, which is pretty sad. But I just hope it's not going to happen more. Um, I started feeding them more after that had happened and I just hope that's going to prevent it of course I can't know but we will see I will update you guys on them as they grow older and bigger but for now nothing much has changed ever since you last saw them they're still in their enclosure just as before and 
are eating well, feeling well, doing well, no issues with them. I really like them a lot, I hope you guys do too, and I want to say thank you so much for watching this video.